so the first tip for you all is that go through your through the details of your grammar portion when i say details that means you need to understand the rules of each a subject or of each topic so let's see what is there in your grammar you are having tenses modals subject verb agreement reported speech commands and requests statements and questions so these are the seven topics which are there for you in this grammar section for your term 2 examination so when i am saying that you need to understand the rules i mean the literal rules that all these topics are having so aapko pata hai tenses ke rules hai modals ke rules hai reported speech ke speech ka rule hai so aapko ye kaise samajh mein aayega ya aapko ye rules kaise yaad honge if you practice because grammar is kind of a mathematic subject okay this is something that i would like to say here that grammar is a mathematics जैसे मैथमेटिक्स में हमें क्या होता है हमें स्टेप मार्किंग मिलती है सिमिलरली यहाँ भी अगर वी आर क्लियर अबाउट द रूल्स वी हैव अंडरस्टूड द रूल्स वेल तो हमारे ग्रामर में कोई भी मार्क्स कट नहीं होंगे कोई भी मार्क्स डिडक्ट नहीं होंगे सो दैट मींस दैट यू कैन गेट टेन ऑन टेन फॉर योर ग्रामर एंड राइटिंग सो यू नो राइटिंग और ग्रामर ये दोनों ही ऐसे सब पोर्शन है इंग्लिश के जहाँ से स्टूडेंट्स कैन फैच मार्क्स so my personal suggestion to all the students watching this video will be ki aap log apne grammar pe bhi kaam karo if you have made that routine of yours of studying of you know managing time and everything then try picking out an hour where you can practice your grammar you know hum grammar ko kai bar bahut lightly le lete hain ye soch ke ki grammar ke to passages aate hain ya you know grammar mein to ek do sentences aate hain jahan pe hame grammar portion attend karna padta hai but those one or two sentences can help you fetching 10 on 10 in your grammar and writing skills section so students go through these topics practice all the seven topics you know which are, what i have suggested here is ki apne routine mein se ek ghanta nikalo and try practicing questions for all these seven topics also so now this was the first mantra that you are supposed or you are requested to go through the entire rules you need to understand the rules of all the topics here now let's move on to the next mantra so the next mantra says that solve grammar passages very carefully ab kai bar kya hota hai ki grammar portion jo hamara aata hai kai bar hame bola jata hai there's a passage and there you know uh, the question asks you to change the tenses or look into the determiners or look into conjunctions or other kind of things okay so when it comes in that way you need to be very very careful ab kai bar kya hota hai ki time shortage ki wajah se exam ke time pe students they keep this portion for the end but us time kya hota hai aapke paas time nahi hota you have, you are in that hurry ki mujhe jaldi paper khatam karna hai aur usme kai bar wo passages carefully nahi padhte ya wo nahi samajhte and they tick mark wrong answers so i request you students not to do that do that aap abhi time manage kar rahe ho aap apne exam ke liye bhi ek time management set karo that if you are getting 3 hours you are going to devote one 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 hour to each section all right so jab aapke paas ye grammar passages aaye you need to be very careful because yahan pe aapko thoda sochna bhi pad sakta hai you need to give a thought before attempting your answers so the next mantra the second mantra is solve grammatical passages really very carefully now let's move on to the next mantra here then the next mantra is that your reading skills your reading comprehension skills or those unseen passage is a blessing to you it's a blessing in disguise we can say hum textbook ki cheeze bhool jate hain hum grammatical rules bhool jate hain but when we go through these unseen passages hamare paas sabse बेनिफिट वाला पॉइंट ये होता है कि वो जो पैसेज है दैट दैट इज यू नो राइट इन फ्रंट ऑफ आर आईज क्वेश्चन आर अगेंस्ट द दोज पैसेजेस एंड यू गेट दिस चांस टू रीचेक टू क्रॉस चेक दैट वॉट यू हैव रिटर्न अगर आपको बाद में भी कभी लगता है कि यू नो उस अनसीन पैसेज का मे बी इस क्वेश्चन का ये आंसर आई एम अ लिटिल डाउटफुल अबाउट इट सो वॉट यू कैन डू कि आप वो पैसेज पढ़ सकते हो सो पढ़ना इज द टेक्निक you need to read your passages very very 
carefully. So now in your question paper, you are going to get two kinds of passages. One is the discursive passage. Now, what are discursive passage? Discursive passages deals with variety of topics. Usme kya hota hai? One topic could be of one subject or could be of, uh, you know, one genre and the topic can be of another genre. Aisa kuch nahi hota ki ek continuity honi chahiye ya facts honi chahiye. So one is the discursive passage which you, you are going to get, which is not going to be more than 500 words. So 500 words, bhoat chota passage hota hai and I expect that you all can read the passage while having time in your hand. Then the second type of passage which you are going to get is your case-based factual passage. Alright, now when it comes to factual passage, us pass un passages ko we cannot tweak. Alright, jo facts hai, we need to present the facts the same way they are. Hum usme koi bhi changes nahi kar sakte. So these are the two types of passages which you, are, which you will be getting in your term 2 writing skills portion. So for writing passages now, you need to practice writing. Alright. We know that it's okay, we'll read it, we'll do it. But you need to practice doing it. You have to note that you have to read it in how much time you have to read it. Because wasting time is something that you cannot afford in your examination. Right? So, how can you practice this practice? You can, what you can do is, that in your schedule, when you are dealing with the unseen passages or when you have, you have, you have made the routine of doing your English work, what can you do at that time? Try reading two or three passages and solving the questions against these passages. So this is how you can do your unseen passages wala portion. Now let's move on to the last and the final mantra of scoring good marks in English. So the last mantra says that writing skills adds more to the score. Ab maine kya bola tha isse pehle? Grammar hai which is going to, you know, add on to your score. Then I told you that unseen passages are which, is, or which are kind of blessing in disguise. And now I am saying that writing skill is also a key scorer. We ignore writing skill sometimes. We think that we know the format, we will write. But no, where do children get the format? When they have to write the content. So you need to be really, very careful about what you are supposed to write. All right. So let's see what's there for your writing skills portion here. So you are going to get a formal writing question that could be a letter of order or the letter of inquiry. So for these two things, you need to be clear about the format. Format pata hona chahiye ki hum letter of order kisko likhte hain, kaise likhte hain and the letter of inquiry hum kisko likhte hain aur kaise likhte hain. So you need to practice writing a letter of order and a letter of inquiry on your daily basis. Then the second thing that you will be getting here is your analytical paragraphs. So you will be getting analytical paragraph that would be based on an outline, chart, map, report or anything. Okay, so they will give you maybe a pie chart and you know they are going to describe you the event in brief and then you will be asked to write a one analytical paragraph. So this is something which is new, which is different because when we talk about analytical paragraph then one needs to be or the teachers they also expect a paragraph which is well interpreted, well analyzed. So in order to do that what do you have to do? You have to practice writing analytical data. Now, for writing an analytical data, you need to read analytical reports. Try reading one or two reports. Uska writing style samjho. Uska concept samjho ki agar koi writer analytical report likhta hai, to wo kyun likhta hai? And then try writing one analytical report yourself. So, these are the two things. These are the two things that are coming in your writing skills portion for this term 2 examination. So one is the formal writing that could be one could be a letter of order or the letter of inquiry and the second thing that you are getting is to write one analytical paragraph. So you will be writing one analytical paragraph as well. So this was all regarding the tips and the mantras which can help you score 
good marks in your English examination. So students, I know you all are going to come out with flying colors. You need not panic because English is a super easy subject where you get a, a time or you, you get a niche to explore your creativity. All right. You can write beautiful paragraphs. You can write beautiful and analyze paragraphs, well interpreted paragraphs, which, you know, this is a subject which gives you a scope to write what you want to write. Apart from your literature course, the rest of the portion that is your grammar, now leaving grammar as well. But for the writing skills section, of course, you get a space to explore your creativity, to explore your imagination. So now you need not panic. Everything is there in this video. I have given you certain suggestions. And if you go by those suggestions, I assure you that you will be able to get good marks in your term two board examinations. So this was all regarding the five mantras which I shared with you for the upcoming board exams for the class 10 students.